is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel with me mrs z1 today we're taking a look at another new game this is called hell architect and this is the prologue let's go ahead and hop in to scenarios i think we're gonna go ahead and start with the tutorial and i think we're gonna go with hell for the difficulty that looks like medium Now, this game is not yet available on Steam, but it will be available here shortly. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be trained to be a junior manager of hell. This is Frank, and he's going to start helping us out. And suffering makes everything work here in hell. So, I got it. And some technicalities. Use middle click or WASD keys to navigate through your hell. Use left click or right click to select or cancel respectively. For more details, go to controls and then options. Got it. Okay, get to work. Dig some dirt, coal, and metal. Click on the dig icon on the bottom of the screen and then point to relevant tiles on the map. Okay, so it looks like we have three sinners right now. It's going to be another nine minutes and 45 seconds till we get another one. So we need to dig. Mm -hmm. Now let's come over here and let's start digging some of this stuff up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, why are you not working? Start working. Okay, these guys' little sound is kind of annoying. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down. To build something, just click on the build icon, choose a category, and then an actual object you need. For now, choose the basic category. You will find ladders and floor segments there. Okay, we need to build tortures. Oh, so sweet. Okay, we have a ladder floor fragment and forbidden fruit. Okay, let's start mapping out. Okay, that looks good right there. And then we will build a ladder going up to it. Oh, darn it. It says we don't have enough resources. Okay, so let's start digging some more. Okay, because I think... Look, this takes... Is that dirt? 14 dirt to make that? Okay, there we go. Now they should have a ladder going up to this platform that we are building. Great. Now build a torch to make your hell a bit more cozy. Did I really say that? Anyway, it's a decoration category object. Okay, time to make a torch. Build. Ah, how I love to look into that flame. Uh, but never mind. Time to look on the character's card. Open it to see more details. Do it by left clicking on any of the sinners. Okay, who are you? At the top there is Sanity. It indicates a sinner's level and grows automatically during torturing. Uh, the better a torturer is suited to a sinner, <clears throat> the faster Sanity increases. Okay, so we want the Sanity to increase. <laughs> so this is Eve. Too proud to work honestly. Digging takes a sinner 50% longer than others. Ew. And now something interns are always waiting for tortures. Now, one of the simplest torture devices is Iron Maiden. Let's start with that. Okay. Start with collecting the resources required to build it. Okay, you already have all the required resources. Build an Iron Maiden. And you will find it among the other torture devices in torture category. Okay, time to build an Iron Maiden. You know what? Let's dig this. That's gonna bug me. Why, did, why can't I dig that? Dig. Oh, maybe that's already selected for them. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and build a torture device, an Iron Maiden. Let's go ahead and put that guy right there. Oh, darn it. 
They're stuck. Oh. I'm pretty sure they're stuck. Okay, we're gonna need a ladder to get out of here. I mean, is that torturous enough? I mean, they got stuck all the way, like, in a hole. What the heck is this lady doing? She's not doing anything? Every building, including torture devices, have their own cards. Click on Iron Maiden for more information. Now look at the empty sim slot at the bottom. Click on the green plus symbol to assign the first sinner and start generating suffering. <gasps> <laughs> Abel's I in it. The production has started and is going quite well. Let us discuss it for a second. Look at the cycle block in the middle of the card. From the left, we can see sim silhouettes, the value of the ongoing cycle, and a corresponding icon. Below the cycle is the sinner's panel. As you already know, clicking on the plus under an empty portrait will make one of your sinners come to do your bidding. <laughs> the sinners must sleep on something. For now, a paper box will do. It is cheap, but uncomfortable. The subordinates get up as soon as they reach the yellow bar. What? Something more comfortable? Surely you jest. This is hell. It is not a place of luxuries. Think about improvements once you reach a higher status. If you even make it to that point. Okay, so we need to build beds now. A cardboard box. <laughs> okay, we're... Oh, we're, we're missing something. Is that coal, maybe? Okay, let's come over here. And let's start digging. So this game is giving me some serious oxygen not included vibes, but it doesn't, at least right now, it doesn't appear that we have to worry about any oxygen or anything. So that is pretty good because that was always an issue in oxygen not included, you know, wondering about the oxygen. <laughs> oh, I think that might've been coal. I think that's coal. It looks like it. Okay, so we need 10 coal. Right now we have four coal. Okay, you guys need to keep on getting to work. Keep on digging. Okay, I s switched Eve into the suffering device, into the Iron Maiden. Oh, why does it say plus four suffering now instead of five? Oh no, it didn't work. Oh, I thought I was gonna... Okay, what if I take him out? Now take take you and put you in okay so now you're gonna go in there because you don't like to dig okay I feel like we're doing good oh looks like we're gonna be worried about food and drink as well you want a private builder what is that supposed to mean you will place this paper box and you will do it now Okay, I am. I had to wait for enough coal. Okay, now we can make the paper box. Yep, you come back. Thank you. You, dude, are going to continue because I have a feeling we're going to need some more stuff. It is time to get acquainted with the provide card. Click on the paper box. You already know how cycles work, so I will not discuss them. The difference is that in provide type structures, the number of sims does not affect the duration of the cycle. It is always the same. Oh, this structure fills sinner's bladders. Oh, we just got another sinner. This structure increases sinner's thirst. Um, tired decreases fatigue and empties sinner's tummies. Ooh. Collect the necessary resources first. Hmm, time to construct a simple latrine. You'll find it in the, uh, drink category of objects. Okay, so now we need to make a bathroom. Simple latrine. We can build one of those. You know what, let's dig out some area over here. Can you come over here and dig out this stuff, please? Okay, I 
think that works that way, but I'm not 100% sure. And then we need to build the latrine. Yes. You're going to start taking care of it. Okay, good job. Take care of the dirt. I kind of want to put my potty right here. Okay, there we go. Potty is being constructed. You'll actually require some excrement in a moment. To assign a center to make some, use the left mountain mouse button to drag and drop the center on the latrine. Okay, you. You can go to the bathroom. Are you already going to the bathroom? I'm talking about drinks. It's time to build a machine that converts excrements yep. into dirty water. Water squeezer. Okay, so we need Quit a water squeezer. And collect the required resources. So, my fellow worm, build it now. Okay, water squeezer. Looks like we have enough stuff. Wait, what does the water squeezer do? A simple mechanism to squeeze water from well. Maybe it's better not to know. Um, okay, this probably needs to go next to the bathroom, I'm assuming. Hey, somebody come over here and... Oh, you're going back into the torture chamber, okay. You... Come over here. You have to assign someone to work. To do this, click on the machine to open building card first. Because it is a manufacturer structure, we already have skills. At the moment of assigning a worker, a sinner matching the structure skill will be selected. Eh, if possible. Okay, why why is nobody being selected yet? Note if there is a large exclamation mark in the upper right corner of the building, it means a lack of resources. And a lack of resources will not allow you to assign a character to a building. Okay. So we need to make sure we still have the resources. Now the resources are, um, yeah, the stuff from the latrine. The their needs falls into the red zone. If that happens, they'll stop working to satisfy that particular need. Afterwards, they will return to work on their own, but only if several conditions are met. Make sure to always have structures that satisfy needs. If a specific structure is not placed or is occupied, the sim will stop working and wait for it to be built or become vacant. A yellow icon will appear above the structure, showing that there are no workers. It's time to find out what everyone in hell is drinking. For now, we will use a metal bucket, which, just like the paper box, meets the needs of the yellow field only. Time to collect the necessary resources. Do not, you know, the bucket will not just appear from thin air. Place it now before you really win. Okay, we need to build the bucket. Got it. Build the metal bucket. Okay, I guess we'll put the metal bucket right here. This poor lady is just a suffering away. I don't know what we're going to use that suffering for, but we're doing it. We have no food. We have water or we have drink. I guess it's probably not water, but we have no food yet. What about food, you ask? Well, the ingredients are provided by Flesh Farm, a structure of the production category. Go and collect resources needed to build it. Ugh, that sounds nasty. Good. Now, build it. Okay, we need to build a Flesh Farm. How disgusting does that sound? Build. Oh, we have no resources. Do you need to use the restroom? What, what happened to our lady? Oh, I think she's taking a nap. Sounds like it. Okay, this lady has no resources. Can somebody use the restroom, please? Let's let this person uh, build up our thing and then we'll do the bathroom. Click on the complete Okay, structure. you I go in the bathroom. The details as it differs quite a bit. Click on the completed structure. Okay. This is the only card that is different from the others. 
Production type structures are the only ones which do not require sinners. It works as soon as it's built. Due to this, in place of cycle, there is process. The rest is unchanged. Oh, there are no sim profiles here too. I think you understand the situation. Food needs to be processed and delivered as well. We use the cauldron for processing. You can cook on it using fire. Go grab the resources needed for it. Okay, now okay. we need a cauldron. Let's see. Cauldron. Build a cauldron. Good job. You're using the restroom. Okay, now this guy, Matthew, he's going to need to use the restroom next. You can build a trough. It can feed sinners up to the yellow bar. Okay, this lady is hungry. Run along, collect what you know it now. Okay, I know. We need to build it. We're going to build it. A trough. Let's build a trough. Come on, somebody come over here. Build my trough. Here we go. We're building it. Uh, what happened to our other guy? And is he sleeping? For the metal bucket is similar to that of cauldrons and paper boxes. Mm, take a look at your own leisure. This has no resources. Oh, we have to have sinners to work this? I didn't... Oh, do we have to have a sinner here too? Come on. Let's get rid of Matthew. You can come over here and work. Can you come here? Waiting for a free sinner. Come on, sinners. You need to work. Listen now. I've just received information from the HR department. They are quite pleased with you. In this case, the final test is upon you. Build the forbidden fruit. Oh, we need to build the forbidden fruit. Okay, we still need to get them some food. They're gonna die. Come on. Okay, I feel, okay, and you don't need anything. Go work over there. Somebody needs to come work over here. We're about to get another sinner. Wait, who the heck is... Somebody come work this. Oh, we don't need anybody to work that. Oh, we just need somebody to work this. And we need somebody to work this as well. Okay, let's find another center. Can anybody work this? Please. Please, somebody come over here and start working. There's no more water. Michael, thank you for volunteering. Very much appreciated. Okay, let's see. We need to make the for forbidden fruit. Four hundred suffering is what we need. We don't have four hundred suffering. We're almost there though. Okay, somebody needs to hurry up. We need to torture somebody. Waiting for a sinner. Who's going to come in? Who's going to volunteer to go into the Iron Maiden? Nobody volunteers. I'm going to have to just pick somebody. Man, they pig out and eat for a long time, don't they? Can you go work over here? Yes, Michael. Suffer. We need 400 suffering. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, you guys need to stop. You're full enough. Okay, you're full enough. How are you doing with food? Oh, you're gonna leave? Okay. No resources. Yeah, no duh. Last, build the forbidden fruit. Face the last test. Okay, we need forbidden fruit. Let's see, let's build. And we'll build it right here. Somebody go build that for me.
Okay, so I think part of the issue is we maybe should have made, made food and water <laughs> earlier. I was skeptical about you, but you did the job. So what can I say? My congratulations, rookie. Congratulations, you have completed the tutorial. Okay, let's go ahead and go into the prologue scenario. Okay, let's start this. I see we have our new trainee. Okay, rookie, let's get to work. Sinners keep coming, so we have to keep building. The suffering must flow. There are rumors that you'll have a chance to prove yourself with a big new project. But let's start you off with something a little less ambitious. Gather the resources and build an Iron Maiden. Meanwhile, I'll get the deeds from Lilithon. What do you need to do next? Okay, hey we need to make master. an Iron Maiden. I'm Bob, your assistant imp. Here to help you in your hellish endeavors. Hello, Bob. Okay, got it. You can help us. The construction of this monument is divided into multiple stages. Oh, <gasps> this monument, huh? Check its panel to see the amount of suffering required to finish stages. Once you bank enough suffering, you can start building. In the meantime, make sure you manage your personal circle of hell and watch over your sinners. If you need to, you can always refer back to the tutorial. Uh, but that's up to you. I I wouldn't presume to suggest anything. Okay. <laughs> um, we are just trying to get a bunch of resources right now now we need to build an iron maiden and from watching z's videos i know that it's better to make those things kind of like farther down where there's not so much light so we're gonna try and make it down here kind of down out of the way a little bit Oh, we don't have enough metal, though. We're just waiting for more metal. Oh, I just saw some more metal. Do we have enough? Yes, we do. Okay, first Iron Maiden. Okay, now over here, I am going to build... Listen up, little worm. I'm Lilith, mother of demons, and head of Hell's HR department. You can address me as your unholy highness. <gasps> okay, we have Lilith in here. Hmm. Our evil lord, Beelzebub, wants us to build a monument to his wonderful wickedness. So get cracking. Okay, here is our monument of Beelzebub. Okay, let's get a sinner in here. And let's go ahead and make a latrine, because you know we're going to need one of those. Oh my goodness, metal is just the issue right now. I need all this metal. It's so funny, these guys can reach up so high. But that's a good thing, because we need all this coal. I can't make any more stuff over here until we get some more coal. Let's see, can we make a meat farm yet? Yes, we can. Okay, I think things are going pretty good over here. I'm gonna have the flesh farms up here. Um, I need somebody to start working on the cauldron and I need somebody to start working over here. I think we're gonna go ahead and wait for a free center for this one. And then Abel's coming over here to work. And then we need another person to come over here and work in the water squeezer. Then we have our trough and our drinking bucket over here. And I'm planning to make a couple more uh, flesh farms over here as well. 
Oh, it looks like Eve is going to start working over here. Okay. We should be getting a new center here very, very soon. This guy over here is just taking care of these last metal for us. Oh, we need a place for our guys to sleep. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, let's build a ladder. Oh, new center is in here. We're going to build a ladder up here, and I'm going to build a floor right here. And that is where our beds are going to be. Oh, we have a bed. Allow sinners to have nightmares in quite decent conditions. <laughs> quiet decent conditions. Oh, it's not very quiet over here. I think for right now, we're just going to go ahead and put some boxes. Okay, we have three beds being made right here. I probably should make another Iron Maiden. Oh, no resources. What? Yeah, I need somebody to come up here and start digging here soon. Um, People need to start going potty. You go potty. Okay, what do we need over here? 300 suffering. We already got that. Let's build that. Okay, that doesn't look like it's gonna take us all that long. Uh, stage one is done. So I guess you're not totally useless. But don't slow down now, Drudge. Keep at it. Get more interested in your productivity. Or maybe you're bored. I was just joking, your highness. <laughs> I'm already back to work. Look at that. Part one has been completed. What do we need for the next part? 500 suffering. <laughs> Stop what oh you're goodness. doing, slug. An official audit will commence in 10 minutes' time. Each new circle of hell needs additional structures to meet the needs of our sinners. If a circle does not have the proper infrastructure, a penalty will be imposed on its manager. So build what's necessary, or I will make sure you suffer every agony we offer. Oh, look, prepare for audit, build paper box, build simple latrine. We already have that. We are doing good. The audit oh, can go ahead and happen. Bells. Some stupid fop doodle has screwed up everything. This audit isn't happening. So get back to work, bootlicker. You'll uh, okay. The audit is not working. <laughs> We're not having to do the audit. That's good. Oh, we need more coal. Um, there's some coal right there. Coal right there. Let's have everybody dig. You know what? We can speed things up too. I forgot about that. Let's speed things up. And let's go ahead and build another Iron Maiden. Oh, boiling oil in a furnace. Oh, that sounds delightful. <laughs> we can't build it yet, though, because we need more coal. Still. Um, Actually, there's coal down here as well. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. We got, like, a shark or something. This is craziness. Okay, I think we have enough coal. Let's go to tortures. Let's build this guy. And I also need to build another food thing. There we go. Hey, is everybody going potty? I don't think everybody's going potty. Oh, I need a sinner in here too. Add a sinner. Ronald. Ronald, come on down to the Bath of Kings. Oh, you can upgrade these? Suffering <gasps> 50? Oh, that's how much it costs. Dirt 50, coal 6, metal 6. Let's upgrade and see what it changes. Plus 4 suffering. Oh, wasn't the cycle eight though? Now it's six? Maybe. I don't know. I don't understand. Is 
You, what are you doing? You can use the restroom to give us some water. I guess we're going to continue on and just continue to get the monument of Belzebub made. But that's going to go ahead and end it for today's episode. If you guys are interested in this game, like always, I will have a link down below where you can purchase it. Like I said, it's not available just yet on Steam, but it will be available very, very soon. I think this is a lot of fun. I think this is, if you like Oxygen Not Included and you want kind of a more relaxed kind of a feel, this is definitely your game. And if you wanted a little bit more crazy, I mean, you could always turn up the turn up the hardness because, you know, we're only on the medium. But this has been so much fun. I thought oxygen not included was just way too hard. I hated messing with the oxygen and stuff like this. So I feel like this is a perfect game for me. But let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Oh, we just got another center in here. But thank you guys so much for coming out and watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing. And if you don't already know, we have a Discord. We got all the social links down below. Super fun time to hang out with you guys. So if you guys want to join the Discord server, it'd be very much appreciated. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.